chapter 5, lesson 2, is how to divide. Here, basically, we need to teach our kids that it's total items divided by items per group. which gives us number of groups. Okay, so this is just the reverse of multiplication. So, total items divided by items per group gives us number of groups. But, we also can have total items divided by number of groups is equal to items per group. Okay, so this is total items divided by number of groups equals items per group. So, with division, it's just the reverse of multiplication, which means it's repeated subtraction. So, our exercises for today comes from page 82. Okay, on page 82, it says in letter number 1, letter A, it says, Joe takes 18 cat biscuits from a tin. Letter A, he shares the biscuits equally among his three cats. So, there's a drawing that has three bowls. Okay, inside the, those are the three cats. And in total, there's 18. So inside, there's six each. So again, for now, the lesson is Okay, for now, the lesson is visual learning. So which means, if we look at this, the equation says 18 divided by 3 equals blank. So, which means the 18 that's inside, we divide into 3 cats, which means what's inside is 6. So, again, this is how they're taught. But this is how we want to teach our kids. So, therefore, there will be number of groups, items per group, and total items. So, if we follow this logic, the total items is 18. That's the 18 biscuits. And there are 3 cats. So, that means the number of groups is 3. And therefore, this is a question mark. So, when the total items is unknown, that's multiplication. Which means if either one of these is unknown, then that means that will be division. Again, all of this will be expressed in greater detail in future chapters. But for now, it's all visual learning that we need to start teaching these so that when we get to the later chapters, the kids won't struggle. That concludes Lesson 2 of Chapter 5. See you in the next lesson.